Hello everybody, welcome back. Jordan here. Today we're going to be taking a detailed look at the LEGO Back to the Future DeLorean Time Machine. Let's start by taking a detailed look at the minifigures and also the specifications plaque. Back to the Future Time Machine manufactured Dr. E. Brown Enterprises. Year was 1985 and it runs on 1.21 gigawatts and has uh, plutonium fuel and an activation speed of 88 miles an hour. You got two minifigures from Back to the Future 2. You got Marty McFly and Doc Brown. You can see the Doc Brown minifigure is incredible. He's got the flashy yellow sort of golden suit there with the red shirt and tie. Uh, he's got that disgusted look on his face. He does have an alternate face. I'll show you that in one moment, but his hair piece is magnificent. Marty McFly, his pockets are turned out there. He's got his fancy sneakers on and he's got that jacket with the black sleeves and the red shirt below. And he's got sort of like an aggravated look on his face there. I love the alternate face for Doc Brown. He's got like those futuristic glasses on. It is absolutely amazing. And then Marty McFly just has like a little smirk on his face. There you can see the backside of the minifigures. I love Doc Brown's hair once again from the backside. It looks fantastic. And also a little bit of print detailing on the back of the torsos as well. In addition to the minifigures, you get uh, two accessories. This hoverboard right here with a 2x6 tile in that pink color and also a large sticker piece. And then you get the plutonium crate, which is pretty cool. It's got some sticker detailing on it. Uh, plutonium handle with care on the side and then those conjoining stickers on the top. And of course, this can be opened up just like that to reveal the plutonium within. So of course, you can build all three versions of the DeLorean. And we're going to start by taking a look at the first version from Back to the Future 1. I mean, obviously, this thing is beautiful. The curves, the angles, the way it is shaped is just whimsical in LEGO form. It is fantastic. Let's start by taking a look at the front. So I love the head-on view of this vehicle here. One thing to note is that this DMC piece right here that stands for DeLorean Motor Company, of course, is actually a print piece. So that's amazing. The headlights are perfectly framed with the dark bluish gray. It looks fantastic. Then we have the chrome bumper just below that and also a little bit of shaping underneath that bumper as well. So it looks great. We've got a nice angle right here that was built using some new slope elements to get that nice angle of the hood. It is just perfect. You can also see some cables coming off the side of the vehicle there, making its way down here, and then actually wraps up around into the back as well. We've got the nice tires there with the dish elements that are printed as well. Those look great. And the hood will actually open up and it does have some storage capabilities. So you just pop the hood open just like this here to actually have a couple different uh, ranges of motion. So you can sort of slide it upward like that there. And then look what's in there. We got the uh, crate full of the plutonium and also the hoverboard. So it's definitely nice that there is a storage spot for those. And they're actually held in. They're not sitting there loosely. This one here sits on a jumper. And then there is uh, several studs, four of them just right down there for the plutonium crate. So it's nice that you have an area where you can stash these away. Uh, however, I'll probably keep mine on display uh, with the minifigures when it's on display uh, in the Lego room here. But definitely nice that the hood actually opens up and we got some storage functionality there in the front end of the vehicle. Well, we may as well talk about the windscreen because the windscreen is actually a new piece that was specifically designed for the DeLorean. So that's good. Obviously, this looks really fantastic here. And one of the main features of the vehicle is, of course, the gull wing doors on either side. They open up just like this here. And they actually sort of close on their own as well, which is pretty cool. A real nice uh, blending job there. You can't even see the seam of the door, really, can you? Like, it is incredible. It just blends in perfectly with the DeLorean. You've got the black line going through the center of the door there, and then the black detail on the bottom as well. You also see some more chrome elements right here that actually hide the connection points for the rubber cable that runs across the vehicle. So that was really well done. And of course, there's all sorts of interior details. Let's flip it around to the driver's side door here, and then we'll have a look at those interior details. One way to uh, actually easily open the doors on either side, and you can actually open the doors simultaneously using this. This is pretty neat. You just grab the doors right here, with, and you can pull them both open just like that, revealing the entire interior of the vehicle, which is super cool. I don't know if that was intended design, but what I do know is it's super functional and a super cool way to reveal the complete interior of the car. You can see the door is just perfect. It's tiled in beautifully uh, using two by four tiles, some of those triangular tiles. And then we have this piece right here 
uh, framing the windscreen, which is actually held in by a ball joint. And then of course we have our rear view mirrors there as well. It's just perfect, isn't it? So the doors are held on pretty securely there. They actually have a plate and a tile going over the connection point. Also, the windscreen is held on by two ball joints and a line of studs uh, going over top of the dash. So it is rather hard to get in there to see all the interior details, but uh, let's get the camera zoomed in there so we can check out the awesome interior. Just take note of my super sophisticated mock that's gonna help us hold the doors open so we can get a good look at the interior. So we've got some nice seats there with the headrest and they are in a fixed position so there's not really any range of motion for those ones there. There is the throttle right there in front of the flux capacitor and also a shifter that uses a microphone. And then right there we've got the flux capacitor that will actually light up. You can see it's just a sticker element on a window frame and window glass. So we can zoom right in and you can sort of see the flux capacitor just right there. And we can actually get that lit up by pressing a little knob on the back here and it'll light up. We have matching one by two print pieces on either side right there with the gauges. And then on the dash of the vehicle, we've got some sticker elements. There's the time panel, also a little one by one printed piece uh, just below that time panel. And then some sticker elements for the dash, such as the speedometer and stuff like that. So pretty detailed interior. And of course that flux capacitor is essential for the model. So here is the piece in the back there that will engage the light brick so that the flux capacitor does light up. Get a little bit better of a view from this side here. So there's the flux capacitor there. Pretty neat. So one of the best features of the vehicle is the way the tires can flip up into flying mode. But I'm gonna show you that once we convert it to the vehicle from the Back to the Future 2 movie. Now, something iconic from Back to the Future 1 is the lightning rod that converted the electricity from the lightning to power the time machine. And that's what we have on the back end here. The back end of the vehicle is just really well done. I love the use of all these different chrome elements and then we have the trans blue elements just below those and they sort of all connect from the top of the vehicle right down to the bottom of the vehicle. There is a little bit of a gap here between uh, these two panels. I believe that is correct though. That's how it is supposed to be built. The back end of the vehicle has a lot of detail with all of these different uh, rubber hoses and flex tubing. And also this little piece right here with the printed two by two circular element, which is actually unique to the Back to the Future 1 vehicle as we will be removing that when we install Mr. Fusion. You can see that there are some really nice panels right here you get this angle that sort of frames the back end of the vehicle and we have some cylinder detail right there and of course our large engine outputs or exhausts on the back here along with the license plate reading out of time which is iconic also the iconic delorean tail lights right here just magnificent build with all the different angles it looks fantastic and then we have some sand green detail on this side here so overall, very impressive model. Let's show you how to switch it to the Back to the Future 2 version of the DeLorean time machine. So of course, first things first, we gotta remove that lightning rod. It's not needed for the second version. The front end of the vehicle stays the same. We actually have to remove these two hoses, that one there and this one here. Remove this engine component with that circular print piece. Also this component that was framing this this little connection element. And then of course we have to change our license plate, which is pretty easy to do. You just have to remove the engine exhaust here so that you can actually extract this element right here, which holds our window in place that holds the license plate. And it's held on by a couple ball joints. So you just gotta tug it out of place there and then swap out your license plate and rebuild the back end. Now you're gonna build this component right here and clip that into place. So of course, we need a new way to power up this vehicle. So we're gonna build the Mr. Fusion. Here's Mr. Fusion. It's got a sticker element on either side. It uses this cauldron piece here and it can be opened up just like that there. So you can put your matter inside to power the DeLorean. And once you have that built, you can clip it into spot. Now we've got our new time machine built. But wait a minute, there's one more change. The tires do not change. However, you can flip them into flight mode by flipping this Technic bar on the bottom. And when you flip that, boom, 
the tires lay flat and it's in flight mode. There's actually some transparent bricks on the bottom, so it does hold it off the table a little bit. And you've got your Back to the Future 2 flying DeLorean time machine with Mr. Fusion on the back. One thing I will say about this swap up is that the Lego group didn't give us enough pieces to have all of the components prefabricated for a fast and easy swap. However, with that said, I only had to bring in three additional pieces to make sure that all of the components were built, such as our third and final element that will go onto the third time machine. To switch it to the third and final version, it's quite easy. The first thing you need to do is just take the rubber tires off of your rim. And then you're actually given a second set of rims here that are white. And you put a red dish and then a chrome dish on top. You've got the white wall tires and then you just pop your tire onto the new and improved rim for the third version. And then of course pop these tires onto the DeLorean. The next thing you need to do is just remove this hood, which is actually really easy. First, you're gonna break these panels off the side, just like that there. And then you're going to peel this off here, which is gonna reveal some snot bricks on the opposite side. So you just wanna flip those snot bricks so they're facing outward, reconnect that to the hood like so, and then put your side panels back on. And then you build some additional components, which is actually this right here, and this will be attached to the hood of the vehicle. You can see there's some nice details in here using some of the cables, also this hook piece. There's an interesting part usage here, which is like a mug full of the orange liquid. Then you've got some connectors and some cylinders and some great pieces in there just to add some nice detail. And this will just clip right onto the top of your hood. And then your conversion to the third and final form of the DeLorean is actually complete because nothing on the back end or nothing in the interior changes. The license plate stays the same as the second one. Everything else stays the same. So that is the third and final form of the Back to the Future DeLorean time machine. Does it get any better than this? We've got a Lego DeLorean that can be switched into three different versions of the model. I think I like the first one the best. I just like the lightning rod. Although, you know, with the tires going into flying mode, that's super neat. But you could do that with the first one as well. Yeah, so uh, that's the Lego DeLorean from Back to the Future. Let me know what you think by commenting below. Remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for some more great stuff. And thank you so much for coming on by. Farewell.